Right. So let me set the background again for this uh, demonstration. This is a situation where you would want to send out an instrument uh, in a survey and that instrument is set up to be a repeating instrument. And again, uh, by out of the box or external module, that feature is not available. So if you start looking around on how to set that up, you're going to be spending a lot of time um, not being able to figure out how to set it up. So hopefully that's one of the reasons I'm, I'm Recording this today, hopefully uh, I do this um, this uh, project justice and am able to show you how you can set this up and by taping it, you'll be able to come back and reference it in case it's something that you want to do. So uh, let me just set the scenario a little bit. Let me start with uh, the designer. Um, I have just a screening form and uh, a daily risk assessment. And uh, basically for my screening form, all I have is just a few pieces of information, um, one of which is key. We're going to turn on surveys in a minute. And in order to be able to send these out, you're going to need to make sure that you've captured the email address. OK? Uh, the phone number, in this case, is valuable in case you want to uh, use Twilio along with this sending out of surveys. So that's why that's here. I'm going to come back to this. And this uh, daily risk assessment is, I'm going to rename this, just says, you know, how are you feeling today? And so we're going to send that out uh, every day. So I'm going to change the name of this real quick. and. Right. So I've got my two instruments. I'm going to go back to my project setup. And just so that we're clear, this is not longitudinal, so I'll turn that off. But I do want to make sure that I have, whoop. actually I want to disable that. Make sure there's no longitudinal study. And this I turned on the surveys because I want to be able to make sure that I send uh, these out regularly, like automated. And that's the point. You can't use the automated feature in your settings for repeatable instruments. Uh, so um, I, the second thing I want to make sure is that I tie in the email field uh, so that we can send these survey invitations out automatically. So I'm going to enable this feature. I'm going to come in here, grab my email address, which again has been validated as an email uh, type field in the design of the field. So I've got that now. And I can see that um, it's going to use that email field to send out uh, the subsequent emails. So the next thing I need to make sure I do is go to my online designer. And now I want to enable my, uh, oops, actually I already set this up. So I'm going to just hop down here real quick and delete the survey settings and walk through setting them up with you. So uh, I'm going to enable this. And let's see how this works. So um, I'm going to get rid of my survey title. And uh, I'll leave this in here. The uh, key <clears throat> piece on this is I'm going to scroll down here. And I want to grab this optional feature which allows respondents to repeat the survey. So I don't know if you've used this before. 
Um, but I want to set the custom text for this um, rather than take the survey again, which is, uh, you know, pretty generic. It may not be very self-explanatory. You could put in something that made sense to you, like, uh, um, Um, okay, something like that. Now, uh, the location of the button on the survey, for me, I'm going to put after the survey is completed and before the survey completion text. So, uh, you know, you can play around with that. Um, and I'll leave this set up the way it is. Uh, and go ahead and save these changes. All right, so all I've done so far is uh, set my project up for surveys, enabled my um, survey so far, um, and I want to go back to my project setup, and I need to make sure that this is set up for a repeating instrument, which I sort of already did. Um, and I, I've got this instrument set up to be repeating, and I've got a custom label that will help me see what date these things are uh, being done. I just grabbed that from here. This is the variable, and we're just piping that variable in by putting it in square brackets so that in the uh, in the record status dashboard for the record itself, you'll be able to see exactly what date um, these things are at a glance. Okay, so I've, I've got that part set up now. The next thing I want to do, I'm going to go back to my online designer here because I want to use the survey queue. Okay, so I'm going to open up the survey queue. I don't know how many of you have used this before. I want to activate this to start with, and I, I'm going to uh, say I want to display the survey in the survey queue when this survey uh, is completed. So basically, when you finish this once, it's going to dump back into the survey queue, and then we're going to sort of manage the survey queue uh, using alerts and notifications. So the other thing I want to make sure I do is automatically start this and then we'll start managing it uh, using the alerts and notifications. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to go to my alerts and notifications, and we're going to set up a new alert. All right, so uh, the title here is optional. Um, I'll just bypass that for the moment. Uh, so I want to trigger this when a record is saved on a specific form. So I'm going to trigger the alert. Um, when that, how are you feeling, is completed. All right, so as soon as it's completed, then this alert is going to take place. Now, the alert in this case will be an email to the participant at a certain time. Okay, this isn't going to the coordinator. Uh, this is, we're going to set this up to go to the participant, and it's going to um, talk to the survey queue, um, even though that may not be totally obvious. Um, the trigger limit in this particular case, we're going to say only once per record, but here's the key. We want to make sure it occurs on every instance of this repeating instrument. Okay, so you got to make sure that box is checked. So here we are so far. When to send the alert. Okay, so generally, um, in, in this particular 
example, we're going to send it on uh, the next day. Um, you could set it after a time lapse of, se of one day. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and say send on the next day. Um, could be a weekday, could be a Sunday, um, whatever. Once, once you've set this up, let's say you want to grab this data every Sunday after that, whatever. Or you can just say seven days. So a lot of flexibility here. I don't know if you've, uh, we've demonstrated the uh, alert and notification feature before, but every so often it gets enhanced a little bit and certainly worth revisiting. All right, now send it how many times? I'm gonna send this multiple times on a recurring basis and I want it to go out every day. So, um, I'm going to come back here, leave this set to send on next day, and not fill these in. Just leave it like this and say send every day. Alert expiration, you can set whenever you want. And then, um, then we want to get to the alert type. Okay, I need to pause one second here. Thank goodness, Manny can cut this out. All right, so now the next step here, I gotta manage these settings. So I wanna send an email out to my Participant, I'm going to send it from myself, and I'm going to email it to uh, this email address. Okay. For subject, I'll just put test, and then um, something key for this is uh, you can put any kind of text here to let you know what you want them to do. Uh, Now, we're going to pipe use you're going to use the smart variable. Uh smart variables um you can check out at your convenience. Uh and this is going to be a survey Q URL and notice the smart variable starts to populate right away. So I'm going to put that in there. And um, now that's the way you would do it for each day. But for my example, um, I'm going to have this go out um, three times. Uh, and I'm going to have it go out every minute so that I can get the email and then show you kind of how this is going to look, okay? So I'm going to get the email, and I'll show you what it looks like when I receive it. So I'll save that. So now I've got my setup for my alert. Uh, the email is going to go out to me. Uh, each, in, in my case, each minute for three minutes um, so that I get three instances of this, and then um, we'll take a look. So I'm going to come into my uh, record status dashboard. Uh, I'll add a new record here, and I'll say date of birth and last name. And for this, I'm going to put my email address in so that I get the email so that I can demonstrate this. Obviously, you'd put the email address of whoever the person is, uh, and same with the phone number. These are not required fields. I can leave it blank. I'll say this is complete. And now this is, this is the next thing that's key. I'm going to go to the next form because this isn't going to be triggered until this 
uh, instrument has been saved. So um, if you want to send it as a survey, I've set this up to auto-populate with today's date. If you've not done this before, and I did this purposely so I could make sure that you see, the survey option is grayed out here. So for the first time you enter a new record, you're going to manually send out that survey for the first time. If you've auto-populated your date, then you have to save and stay, and then you will have your survey option button light up. So if you didn't have this uh, set for um, auto-populate, then the survey options would be more available, or you may still have to use save and stay depending on the configuration of your instrument. But I'm going to go here now to my survey options, and I'm going to open up the survey, and um, I, I, in, normally I would have sent it out, and they would have responded, I'm going to submit this. Uh, there is a, an option here, but we're going to close this now. Um, and leave without saving changes. Uh, anytime you do save a survey, when you are, um, when it's out, uh, you want to leave without saving changes so you don't overwrite something that um, somebody may have entered while they're completing the survey. All right, so now if this is going to work, uh, in about a minute, I should get an email. I suppose that I better open my email program. Sorry. And we'll see what I get. Okay. All right. So... Oh, uh, okay. So this is what this is what it would look like uh, normally. I didn't like the look of this, and this is really bizarre. Uh, this is going to start telling you I'm getting all these emails. All right. So I don't really like the look of this. So strangely enough, I talked to Manuel about this, and said, you know, could we use CSS injector and get rid of this? And the answer was no. And wouldn't you know, the next morning, they came out with an update to a repeating instrument that fixes that. Uh, and I didn't add that to my instructions. So I'm going to come back to my external modules, uh, and I'm going to add one here. And this is going to be survey tweaks, survey UA tweaks. There we are. I'll enable this. And I'm going to come in here and configure this. And um, I'm going to set this for how you're feeling. Uh, I'm, there's a survey queue option that shows up in the right-hand corner. Uh, I'm going to hide that. Um, and I want to uh, I think this is all I need to do. Let's save this and let me see for sure. All right, so I've I got three of these uh, emails, and so this is what it looks like. I got please select the following links. Gives me this link. I click on it. I've already used this. Um, I was afraid of this. Uh-oh. 
for those of you who lost my screen, uh, I just crashed my computer. Is anyone still there? Or did yes, I lose? I can hear it you. looks like I'm. No, I can okay, hear you. Thanks. So the yeah, call, because the call screen. I make separate. Okay, I see your screen still, but it, it just looks like it's frozen. And when you clicked on the link, oh, it's good. just, the tab is open, but there's nothing showing. Yeah, and your, your mouse unfortunately, unfortunately, I completely crashed and my computer's rebooting. There you go, now you're so, Okay, well, I'm going to, uh, finish this next week then and just show you what these look like so that you can see. Uh, but basically, uh, there, that is a method for you to um, send out surveys. And you can't use the automated survey button for an instrument. There's nothing there that will let you address repeating instruments. So there's no way for you to do it that way. Uh, there's no way for you to create the repeating instrument, have the survey go out. There's nothing, if you go to the survey design tools um, and where the participant list shows up, there's no way to automate repeating instruments there. The only way you can set up the automating um, repeating uh, surveys and having them sent out automatically is the way that I was just demonstrating.